Merry Christmas, everyone. What is up, guys? So, this video is obviously titled, for a reason, it is 24 movies in 24 days. I was, it was coming up to Christmas. Um, I decided I was going to watch one movie every single day up until Christmas, up until the 25th, so 24 movies. And I tried to do this last year. I didn't successfully do it, but I thought I'd really commit this year um, with less stuff to do, so I thought I had more time to watch it, and um, that's what I'm going to do. So, after every time I watch a movie, I will just do a quick 30-second vlog or whatever and just talk quickly about the movie. And by the time we get to Christmas, I'll have a full video ready. And this is actually, should be coming out on Christmas in Australia. I will upload it that night, probably the night before, then have it scheduled to upload um, while I'm at dinner or whatever, whatever it may be. But this is actually night two. Night one, last night, I watched... Oh, here we go. Love Actually. Uh, this is easily one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely, I'd say top three. I'm not going to reveal because there's a list. Probably have already revealed because the the top ten video... I'm doing a top ten favorite Christmas movies of all time video that would have been out by the time I put this up. But it'll be high on the list. I can guarantee you that. This movie is one of the best rom-coms of all time. One of the best Christmas movies of all time. Just so well done. Uh, so well put together. All the little storylines. All the plot into one. Just so funny. Love, oh, just it's just a fucking awesome movie. Um, and I probably will talk about that more in depth. But the second movie that I'm, you might be able to see on the screen behind me is Alf. Uh, I just finished watching Alf. This is a movie I've been watching, you know, as long as I can remember Christmas time. It is such a fun movie. Will Ferrell kills it. Everyone in the sporting cars kills it. It's a lot of fun. Perfect kids movie. Perfect Christmas movie. Great stuff. I'll see you in a second. Day three, night three. Christmas movies, Home Alone, the first Home Alone that is, I don't know if you can see it playing behind me, the menu's still on, a um, little bit of glare, but this is this is up there with one of the best horror movies, one of the best Christmas movies of all time, this movie um, is a great family movie, it is a lot of fun to watch, um, very heartwarming, has some semi message to it, which is also good, but it's a hell of a lot of fun to watch, we're moving on to night four. So day four, I just finished Home Alone 2, uh, Lost in New York. Fantastic sequel. Uh, very close to as good as the first one. I think the first one just has the slight edge being the original. Um, I think it's very ridiculous. Both these movies are such just crazy fun. I'm not going to bother with the three, four, and five. They don't exist in my mind. Definitely a lot of fun. Day five, still in my room with the shitty-ass lighting watching movies at midnight, but... Pete's Christmas, uh, just watch it, many people won't know what it is, it's actually just a, a Hallmark TV movie um, that I watched because of an actress that I was watching in another show, um, was in this movie when it came out like 2013, and I've just watched it, and it's kind of basically become a guilty pleasure, a lot of like goofs in it and stuff like that, but continue to, to watch it every year since, I watch it like four straight Christmases now, so... Why not keep making it? I think that should be the fifth Christmas. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Five. There you go. All right, so day six, uh, I watched... I was at a friend's house when I watched it, so I didn't film until now. I'm filming actually on day seven. But I watched the night before. Uh, a new Christmas movie, I think, came out to the 15. Um, so you could really select like the third Christmas. I think I watched it last Christmas. Not when it came out, but it's a lot of fun. I really like the cast. I mean, I'm a huge Jojo fan. Um... I, you know, and it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, a bit of silliness, and, you know, it works. All right, so a week in, uh, day seven, just watched Harold and Kumar's A Very a very Christmas, A Very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Uh, if you don't know the full title, it's actually a 3D Christmas, and it's very f fucking 3D heavy on it. I actually don't have the 3D uh, version, but a lot of shit you can tell. It's just a fun, ridiculous movie, very over-the-top very adult and just don't give a shit, but it's just a guilty pleasure fun movie. Alright, so day eight, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Uh, this is obviously, the movie is actually alright, I don't think the movie is that great, um, but the character of Grinch is so iconic and uh, Jim Carrey's great. Um, I'm actually trying to watch uh, the like 25 minute short, these are in the 60s, that obviously, you know, classic, known as a classic that's struggling to load, so you never know. I'll let you know. There's no tomorrow if I watch it, but... All right, day nine, actually filming in light in the daytime for once ever, but National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, this movie is just ridiculous. It is a lot of fun. Uh, very, very funny to watch Chevy Chase's 
just fucking hilarious. It's basically a movie about nothing, to be honest. It just kind of, it's just Christmas time and it's just fucking around doing dumb shit. But it's hilarious. Alright, day 10. I filmed this on the same day as I did day 9 because I forgot to film. But, day 10. A Christmas Carol. I actually don't have the Blu-ray I watched it online. I um, missed the Jim Carrey one. Again, Jim Carrey playing a very iconic Christmas character, playing the Grinch. Now, he did the voice for Scrooge. Um, this movie's animation is a lot of fun to watch. Um, the story is very iconic with Charles Dickens. And this movie is... This, this movie's enjoyable. Alright, so day 11, and it's actually a day for once. I'm not even just filming at day, I'm watched, I've watched it during the day. I've got some stuff to do during the night, but it's a nightmare before Christmas. Uh, this is like a mix between a Christmas movie and a Halloween movie. If people have seen that, really understand it. The plot is very mixed, and but it's got Christmas in the title. It's very Christmas-based as well, so it counts. Very, 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 very Tim Burton. This is a Tim Burton movie and a half. This is incredibly Tim Burton fun musical, just a bit of different, very unique film. Alright, so day 12, we're halfway there, the halfway point, and we go for a classic Miracle on 34th Street, I actually just bought this like a week ago because I knew I was going to be watching it, and it's a Christmas classic, literally never seen it, this is the original 70 years ago, 1947 it came out, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to check it out, not the movie I was expecting, but I really did enjoy it nonetheless. Alright, so day 13, we're going Krampus. Now, a uh, movie that was just released uh, about two years ago. I wanted to see it a lot. Finally got to watch it. Uh, a little disappointing. Honestly, I wasn't a huge fan. I think they, shouldn't have, they should have used Krampus a lot more than his little goons. I understand what they're trying to do. But honestly, I think a little a bit underwhelming. Day 14, we're going back to a, to a classic, a classic I own. It's a Wonderful Life. Now, this I hadn't seen. I bought it for Christmas, and it's honestly not that much of a Christmas movie. Um, it's more of a movie just about his life. Uh, it is a very good movie. Uh, I didn't love the first half, but I think the end kind of wrapped up a little bit. It's very, very well, well done. Probably won't be watching rewatching it next Christmas, though, because it wasn't very Christmassy. Day 15, The Polar Express. This one, I, again, haven't seen. I know it came out a bit, a bit ago, but I hadn't seen it yet. Uh, I really like the animation style. I like the story. I think it was actually a really good movie and it was not as boring as I expected when I saw the trailers and stuff where I just thought it was going to be a bit boring. It wasn't at all. It was a fun, Christmassy animation movie. Day 16, uh, another one I watched online, Deck the Holes. Now, this one is Matthew Broderick and Danny DeVito and that is the big reason I watched it. I remember watching it as a kid when I was really, really young. Um, this movie is just ridiculous. It's pretty bad at times, but it's just a ridiculous, very guilty pleasure-ish, uh, fun Christmas movie. Day 17, A Christmas Story, a movie I was very, very hyped up to see. I remember seeing a little bit of it, and I was like, that seems like it's going to be fun. And it was a lot better than I thought it would be. I know it's a classic. It's like 80, so I thought oh, people love it because it's a classic. But it had a little bit, this little bit of charm about it that I really, really liked, and I really, really enjoyed this movie. Day 18, Scrooged, a different take on A Christmas Carol, uh, a movie that was very clever in its plot. A movie that I thought was alright, I think Bill Murray definitely hypes this movie up to something great. Uh, it is it is very funny at times, um, but it's definitely just a smart retelling of A Christmas Carol. Day 20. I know I've probably filmed for like the last seven days all in a row because I forgot to film for a few days, so I'm catching up in the same clothes and shit, so I don't wear the same clothes every day. But day 20, we're hitting up. Muppets Christmas Carol. Uh, again, another retelling of Christmas Carol. I really did enjoy this film. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun, not just for kids, but I think the Muppets in general a lot of fun. I didn't love Michael Caine as Scrooge, and it's probably because of his physical demeanor, not his actual characterization. I think he's just too big and intimidating for Scrooge for me, but I still had a lot of fun with this movie. All right, day 21, we're going with The Santa Claus. This is actually a really enjoyable movie, like 1994 or something, with Tim Allen. Uh, I really like the concept of like him becoming Santa and stuff like that. I think it was very unique the way they did it. It was a very funny movie until I was just a fucking hilarious guy. Day 22, we're going Santa Claus 2. We're obviously following out Santa Claus 1 with Santa Claus 2. Uh, this one, is, I don't think is as good as the first one, but it's still enjoyable. Uh, I think that I, I like the whole Santa, like Mrs. Claus thing and like the toy thing. I thought this was actually a cool idea. Uh, again, I, I just like the unique concept of any Christmas movie. Day 23, again, we're going Santa Claus 3. We went 1, 2, then 3. We had to. Second last day. This one is honestly a little disappointing. It's very... it's it, You can see it's pretty bad when you're watching it, but it's nothing compared to the first one, even the second one. 
Um, but I can still enjoy these movies. I think I really like Tim Allen. I like the whole Santa Claus franchise, so I'm going to enjoy it no matter how bad it is. Day 24, Jingle All The Way. It's, and I, I actually just watched a video by John Flick and, uh, John Flick and do a flick, flick pick, if you will. Uh, he put up a video and called it the best, worst movie, Christmas movie of all time. And I totally agree with that. It is so bad, but it is so good. It is so much fun. Just a hell of a great time. Thank you guys for watching my 24 days of Christmas movies. Uh, been a lot of fun watching all these movies. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. I actually dropped this video a bit later than I expected, but I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Uh, it, did, it should drop a little bit later, but give everyone time to enjoy their Christmas and hopefully prepares you guys for next year of what you guys can watch. You guys know what to do. You can like, subscribe, but of course, have a good one.